Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a program in Python on how to create, how to find the factorial of a given number. What is the factorial of a number? For example, if n is the given number, then the factorial of a number is obtained by multiplying the numbers from 1 till the number n, for example. So 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 till that number n. You are multiplying all the natural numbers from 1 till that number n, then it's the result is the factorial of a number. For example, if you want to find the factorial of 5, then you have to multiply the numbers from 1 till 5. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5, that is, result is 120. So 120 is the factorial of a given number 5. Now let us move to the program. So the command is factorial of the given number. Now we want to find the factorial of a particular number. So in that case let us assume that number is num. So num is equal to, so if you want to uh, get the input from the user as usual you want to call input function and this input function has to give a description. So the description is actually enter any number. Enter any number. And whatever the user is entering is in the form of string as per the behavior of input function and it is to be converted into integer since we are going to find the factorial of integer number num. So convert it into integer value by using int function. So whatever you are obtaining from the user in the form of string using input function should be converted into integer using integer function. And the result is now stored into num. So num now contains the number for which we want to find the factorial. Next, I want to find the factorial of a given number by multiplying the numbers from 1 till that number. In that case, I need a variable uh, that stores the product of the numbers multiplied from 1 till that number. Let us assume it as factorial. So factorial. So factorial is the name of the variable. Now, one important thing is, this factorial should have an initial value. Suppose if you are not providing an initial value or, or otherwise some garbage value, for example, 5 is there in that factorial already. When you are multiplying the first value 1, then what will happen? In the first iteration or in the first time itself, the value of the factorial will become 5. But first time, 1, uh, 1 is the factorial, right? 1 is the result of that multiplication. But you got 5. So, you have to initialize this factorial variable with a value that is not going to affect the result even if you are going to multiply it with the other value. So, 1 is the correct value to uh, initialize this factorial and 1 into anything that number itself, right? 1 into anything is that number itself. So, in that case, 1 is not going to affect the result even if you are multiplying that factorial variable with any other variable or any other value uh, in the future. Now the factorial is initialized with 1. What's next? We want to multiply the numbers from 1 till n. So let us discuss how it is working. For example, initially we have to multiply 1 with the existing value of the factorial. So 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Now you have to multiply 2. Already factorial is containing 1 and you multiply it uh, with 2 multiplied by 2. Now 1 into 2, 2. Now factorial is 2. And now multiply 3. So already the factorial value is 2. Now multiply 3. So 2 into 3 is 6. Now the 6 is the current factorial value. Next value is 4. 4 into 6 24. Now 24 is the current factorial value and uh, multiply it by 5. So 24 into 5 it is 120. And already you multiplied up to 5. So uh, there the process ends. So 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So if you are multiplying all these values and you will get 120 as a result. And this is how we are doing. So generally speaking, factorial variable should be multiplied by the current value of i. And the result should be stored into factorial again. Then only we are getting the current factorial. 1 into 1 equal to 1. That means factorial of factorial into i 
current value of factorial is or initial value of factorial is 1 and first value of multiplication or the uh, multiplier is 1. So, 1 into 1, 1 and result is to be stored in the factorial again. So, factorial is 1. It will continue till uh, all the numbers from 1 to 5 are encountered in the loop. So, we have to have a loop in our program. So, we have to use for loop. So, for then let us use an iterating variable i and it is extracting the values to be multiplied. That means the multipliers from a range of numbers generated by the range function. The first number in that range should be 1 because we have to start multiply from 1. And the last number we are going to have in the sequence is actually the number itself because 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into till that number itself. So, num plus 1 because if you provide num then it will multiply only up to num minus 1. But here you want to have the number also in that range. So, add a plus 1 to that so that you will get the number also in that range. Now, the for loop header is ending with a colon. Now, in this you have to multiply the current value of the factorial with our current value of the factorial by the current value of i and store the result back into factorial again. So, factorial equal to factorial into i. So, once this for loop is executing uh, some number of iterations, finally the factorial variable will contain the factorial of the given number. For example, here if i 5 is given as number, then 5 this factorial will uh, this for loop will execute 5 times. That means i will be having the 5 values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And after the 5 iterations, this for loop will give the factorial value 120 in this variable. So, uh, now this for loop is over. Now, what we want to do is we want to print the factorial of a given number. So, let us print the factorial of number and the num factorial of number and the number is actually mentioned by the variable num and then again comma and this then again uh, what is the factorial is actually factorial. Now this program is actually printing the factorial of the number uh, given in the input. Right? Let us run the program. So there is an invalid syntax because there is a missing of comma here and now it is corrected. Let us execute it again. Now it is asking for the number uh, to be processed. Let me give 5. Now the factorial of number 5 is 120. Let us execute this program one more time with another, another input, another number. For example, let me give 6. It is 720. So 120 is already factorial of 5 into 6, it is 720. Right? So this is what uh, this is what the way of writing a program to find the factorial of a given number uh, which is given as input. Right? And I hope that you understood this program and logic of the program and how it is implemented in Python language. For the for the explanation on for loop, uh, please refer the for loop video. And uh, I hope that you understood. And let us meet in the next video. Happy programming. Thank you.